Hey guys, what's up? It's Micah Jesse. We've got the world's biggest pop star, Justin Bieber. What's it like performing for the Victoria's Secret Fashion? We've got all these beautiful girls running around. It's great. It's great. I mean, I, I am super pumped to be here. We've got Kim Kardashian. Hey, how are you? We're blo we're twinsies. Yes. <laughs> this is so exciting. The energy is huge here. I've got to learn one move from Kevin James on this black carpet tonight. I look him right in the eye. Then I show fear. I show. I wet myself. I'm wetting now. Are you wetting? <laughs> I'm not there yet. This is a sensitive subject for me because I'm a guy, right? So I don't have breasts. Nor do you like breasts. How you yeah. doing? <laughs> How do you know? How you doing? <laughs> With all the excitement backstage, we want to keep you entertained. And I want you to come inside. Well, gosh, I don't know what you should expect, but R. Kelly will be there. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that. Oh, I said it anyway. Oh, well. Exclusive. Sorry, Robert. What does it mean to perform at the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show for you? Tits and ass, and I have none. I'm here in Herald Square in New York City, hanging out with Victoria's Secret supermodel and angel Alessandra Ambrosio. She's the queen bee this year because she's actually been chosen to wear the $2.5 million bra. This is it right here. This is it, yeah. What does this night mean specifically for you? Well, First of all, this night means a lot of nerves. You have a very special bracelet on. Everybody that comes in today gets a bracelet that says, I'm going to love my. So our theme is, I'm going to love my. I saw Arbitrage uh, this week. It was one of my favorite films of yours for sure. Um, you've done all different types of films, horrors, action. Do you have a favorite no. type to do? No? no. If you could do one last film, your last of your entire career, what type of film would it be? It's never going to be a last film. <laughs> You're never getting rid of me. I'd love to get a little sneak peek just exclusive for our viewers out there. So we always will be forever young. Join me today, entertainment and lifestyle blogger, Micah Jesse. Welcome back. I focus mostly on the positive side of celebrities, and I feel like w whether they choose to believe it or not, both Chris Brown and Rihanna are public figures, and because of that, they have a responsibility to... Thank to you. Yes. yes. We have a special guest to help us out, blogger and rumorfix.com expert, Micah Jesse. Micah, Jesse, welcome to the show, Micah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Micah, Jesse, who runs the entertainment site, MicahJesse.com, joins us now with the morning <laughs> scoop. Micah, love the suit, love you. Let's just get into it, right? It's day one at Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week, and we're at the Diet Pepsi Refresh Studio. We're checking out how to stay refreshed with Richard Chai and BCBG. Come check it out with me. So this event is a very big event in New York City, one of the biggest fashion events uh, of the year. Um, it always brings out big stars, and Miley is obviously one of the biggest stars that we're talking about right now. But it's also strong and dangerous. Ooh. Anna, one quick question. How does Fashion Night Out change over the years? Uh -huh. Well, I, I think um, it just really represents the energy and the vitality. He designs for the modern, sexy, and confident woman. And I'm lucky enough to be backstage with the designer himself, Max Azria, before his Hervé Leger show. How are you, Max? Very good, but you present me so well that I have nothing else to say. 